The sun rises on a new day, and the shadows creep across the land Carletta Chief calls home. I remember not having any sense of time or not having to go anywhere, just being outside and herding sheep. Hers was a childhood of timeless memories until the weekday sirens signaling shift changes were heard from the neighboring coal mine. The mining activities have kind of put a footprint over our daily lives just because it's just right here. The impacts of mining on people and land influenced Carletta Chief to become Dr. Chief at the University of Arizona with a PhD in hydrology. It's encouraging that we have professionals like uh, our own uh, Dr. Chief who are able to come to our aid. Getting a PhD, postdoc, um, you know, the faculty track, um, but the difference is that the projects that I pursue there are research questions that tribes need answers to. Dr. Chief has several tribal projects looking at issues of water and climate change. They get samples from the middle of the river. One is looking at downstream impacts on Navajo farmers of the Gold King mine spill on the Colorado Rocky Mountains in summer 2015. Because of the extent of contamination, our farmlands are in jeopardy. Uh, Dr. Chief's work looked into the impact on our families, our farmers, on their mental state, the emotions, the, the spiritual impact. Quentin Benali is one of the native graduate students Dr. Chief is mentoring along their educational path. Started in 2013, and that's where I met Carletta. She accepted me as a student. And um, ever since then, I, she just kept me on track to get all my courses done. And She's the founder, actually, of the Black Mixa United. Um, so she's motivated us and been, you know, an inspiration to all of us. You know, being Carletta started a nonprofit organization to help Navajo residents advocate for water, electricity, and other rights that can get tangled in multi-jurisdictional issues involving the tribe, the mine, and public governments. The people don't, don't have electricity, don't have running water, don't have basic services. We came together united, Black Mesa united, to begin to advocate for that. In a sign of success, a brand new water line runs across the family land, where Carletta and her father point out logs once carved by his father. The water line will reach a hogan that Carletta's father and family members are helping her build. We um, thought it'd be a great opportunity to really uh, train people who are wanting to monitor their own watersheds. So we're here um, teaching about what a spring is because there's um, many different types of springs. Depending on this the kind of off-roading is just in a day's work for Dr. Chief, who convenes experts on this hillside to help local residents learn how to do their own watershed assessments. This water that you could have. Dr. Chief brought out quite a, quite a team of experts to just take us through every aspect of, you know, um, doing, running the inventory, preparing the team for these type of field visits, and collecting the status. Dr. Chief is a former Miss Navajo Nation, who was the first title holder ever to have a postgraduate degree, while also demonstrating knowledge of her cultural traditions. Ready? <laughs> and she's trying to pass on all of them to her three-year-old son. As much as I can when I'm at home, I speak to him in the neck etche. And since he was a little boy, teaching him his clan, who he is. With Diné language, with grandparents, and with a dose of mathematics, it's a holistic lesson. It surely should serve son just as well as it served mom. There's a pin on tree right there. So just through the experience of living here and my grandmothers and the grandfathers. That gave me the motivation and the resiliency to make it through college. I've made that full circle where I'm not doing research for um, research sake, but for the sake of helping native people.